Hello everyone, this is Miguel Greenberg and now we've reached part 7 of my quick react tutorial. Uh, the topic for this part is memoization. Uh, this is a somewhat advanced topic. Uh, I am not going to go into a lot of detail, but I want you to be aware that uh, this, uh, this feature exists. Uh, the idea with memoization is that uh, there are ways to optimize the application so that it runs faster by doing less renders. Uh, we want to make sure that our components only render when they, when they really need to. So if a component's internal state does not change, we want to prevent that component from rendering again. Uh, and uh, there are a number of options within React to achieve that. So you can probably see that I, I brought back the counters example from the subcomponents chapter and we are going to work a little bit more on this application and uh, we are going to find excuses to look at how components or how or when components render. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to add a reset button. So, so there's going to be one more button that resets the counter uh, back to zero. So Let's create a, uh, let's call it child2, and this is going to be my reset button. So uh, import react from react, export default uh, function child2. And here we are going to return uh, a button. Uh, something like that. So now here we can import child2. And add it here. Let's see if it works. Very good. So for, uh, for the first implementation, what we are going to do is we are going to pass the set counter uh, setter from our state into the uh, into the child component exactly like we did with the uh, with the increment uh, and decrement buttons so we're passing the state we can receive the state here as a prop and now we can uh, implement the on click oops the on click function uh, we can we can call a function called reset and the reset function is going to do set uh, set counter zero, and that should be it. So now reset brings the counter back to zero. Perfect. So um, we have an example here. The, the, this reset button. Uh, we we want to make sure that this component only renders once and never again, because in reality this component it's never going to change. Uh, regardless of the counter changing, there's really no point in re-rendering reset, right? Because it, it doesn't have any any relationship with that counter. So uh, we can uh, we can investigate what happens. Uh, it would be nice to know when uh, when the component renders. So what we are going to do is we are going to write a log message when app renders and Let's write another um, message when uh, when child two renders like that. So we can open the console and now let's clear this. So so let's take a look. And interestingly enough, you can see that each time the counter changes, both app and child two re-render. Uh, so and even if we if we press the reset button as well so so you can see that every time the top level component the parent component renders uh, the child component renders as well and this is this is the default this is what happens uh, in in uh, in every case by default unless you tell uh, react otherwise so whenever a component renders all the chi the children components will render as well so we we want to tell react that for this component, it is safe 
to not re-render it every time the parent renders. So React provides a function called memo to do that, which uh, basically means that we, uh, we're telling React to, uh, to remember the first version of the component when the component is created and keep reusing it instead of generating new versions of the component that need to be re-rendered. So uh, the way to do that is uh, to wrap the component in a function called memo. So to do that, we are going to have to switch to the uh, the other syntax for for functions uh, based on the arrow functions. So so we're going to do that right now. And now we have to export child two as well. So th this should change nothing. This is all the same. This should continue to work, and the application continues to render the child2 component every time. So, um, so now we can wrap this uh, with react.memo. So this, this is what's going to tell React that we want this component to be remembered. So, so we see that there was one message for the first render. So now when we, we start changing the uh, the counter, the reset component does not re-render. So this is uh, this is great. So this is awesome. And uh, for components that are standalone in, in in this way, then this is all it takes. Uh, in reality, I, I I exaggerated when I said that it, the component will be rendered once and never again. Uh, the component will be re-rendered if any any of its props change. Uh, so, uh, so if it props change or if it has a state and the state changes, uh, in all those cases, the component will still re-render. But uh, when nothing else changes uh, except for the parent, then this component will be preserved and you will be saving uh, one, one render there. So, uh, so this, this is great. Uh, now let's look at a slightly different implementation. Uh, let's say that instead of having the reset function in the component, in the subcomponent, let's say we want it in the parent. Uh, so let's say we have here a, uh, a reset function that calls set counter zero. Exactly what we did, but now now we have it in the in the parent component, and to reset we are going to pass that reset as a prop. So this is uh, kind of the same, but uh, I mean, you, you could say that this is uh, a little better because it, it, it keeps the, the state in the component that owns the state. Uh, so here we will be taking a reset and uh, Actually, now now I don't even need this. I can call I can call the reset function directly. So let's see if this works, and this works great. But if you if you take a look now, the uh, the memo function broke, and we uh, were back at rendering the the child component every time. So. The reason is that uh, I, I just mentioned that, uh, that that the component will re-render if its internal state or its props change. So consider this uh, this prop that we're passing, this reset function. So this function, each time that the the parent component renders, this function will be created anew. Each time, this is going to be a different instance of the same function. So, so each time we are passing a different reset function into the child component. And for that reason, then React uh, realizes that one of the props, or actually the only prop in this case, changed and will say, okay, I need to re-render this. So now we have a case in which, uh, a very common case in which a parent is passing some sort of callback function into a child. And yet we still want the child to do not re-render. Uh, 
but but because the the function it's it's different every time we are allo- allocating a new function each time then uh, then this is not allowing the memo function to work so react provides a uh, specific thing a specific feature to help with with functions that are allocated uh, in uh, in the context of a render function so what we can do here is we can use the use callback hook so we pass the function into use callback and then as a second argument we provide the list of dependencies which in this case is no dependencies this function is going to be the same every time and and now we get back a function that is guaranteed to be the same every time so it doesn't matter uh, you know how, how, however many times this function is called each time we we get here then this reset function is going to be the same function because react through the use of this use callback hook is remembering it and always bringing back the original function so now we will be passing the same the same callback function every time so now we are once again saving that render that is unneeded so anyway this is this is it for for this uh if if you're a beginner this this may seem very confusing uh it's going to click at some point and you are going to see the need for uh for implementing some uh some optimizations that uh, that work with this um uh, so anyway thank you so much for watching see ya bye bye